Hi, it's Anna and I'm coming to you from Costa Rica to show you how to travel solo as a female. It's safe to travel everywhere if you're clever, so that means not going to dangerous neighborhoods, not taking weird offers from people on the street, and not getting drunk at night. When you're traveling solo, hostels are a great option because they're cheap and they're great for making friends. I've stayed in all kinds of rooms, so I've stayed in an all girls room, I've also stayed in mixed dorms, and also in a private room. Because I really needed to just be able to relax fully is traveling for so long. I've never had any issues staying in a mixed zone, but in case you don't feel safe or you're not in a good environment, do not hesitate to go to the reception and make them change your room. This time I chose to work away through Costa Rica, so it's a cheaper option and you also get to meet people. They are so good, yet I can't see them. That day I was watering some plants, cleaning the yoga shala, Pretty easy work. This is the tree they're in today, and this is our house, so it's super close. Do you know who's gonna clean the shower? Are oh, you all quiet now when we're up, aren't you? <laughs> ah, I'm going to reach. I. I was supposed to do five hours today, just like everyone else, and I did three, and Shlomo didn't have anything else for me to do, so he said just go to the beach, and I'm going to the beach. I'll go get some lunch, and I'll pack it, so I don't have to buy anything. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy a coconut or something, but yeah, um, it's gonna be a fun afternoon. Now I'm gonna change into some comfier clothes, but some sunscreen on, because I haven't done it, but like, this is it from today. Let's talk transportation. If you're on a budget like me, public transportation is the way. However, there's a cheaper way to travel. When I came to Costa Rica, I had only hitchhiked twice, and that is a secret because my dad doesn't know that. <laughs> but now I cannot even count with my fingers how many times I've hitchhiked. Before hitchhiking, maybe ask around, see what locals have to say about it, and also always trust your intuition. If you're getting bad vibes from a driver, do not get on that car. <laughs> as much as they decide if they want to give you a ride or not, you decide if you want to get on that car or not. That being said, I have not had any bad experience hitchhiking or have not had to say no because all of them give me good vibes. I just got an amazing hitchhike. I skipped all the bad parts so Because the road from the village to one certain point is really good. Well, really good for Costa Rica. Well, I'm getting so many hitchhikes that I can't even talk to you. I'm on the village already, so <laughs> I guess I'll just walk to the beach and try and find Zita. Because she's on the beach too, so. That day I went to the beach alone. My friend Zita had gone to the beach earlier that morning, but I didn't know which beach she had gone to, so I kind of had to guess. I ended up not finding her, and I put my towel in this spot, right behind a group of friends. Karen ended up telling me to join, and we had a great time together. That day we were gonna have dinner with the volunteers, with Shlomo and with the rest of the guests So I had to come back at 6 However, if you're planning on going out, I recommend you go with friends you met along the way and I recommend you do not drink because the only person you can really trust is yourself so do not get drunk I just got dropped off very near where I'm staying the people I met took me here thank you so much, I had a really nice day with you and thank you for driving me um, I tripped on... that's embarrassing Gina! 
What are you doing here? You're not supposed to be outside. Well, I don't know if you're supposed to be outside. I don't know, but like, <laughs> what are you doing in the middle of the road? Yeah, no. Oh, it's gonna break! No, don't do that! Oh! <laughs> So if everyone places their thumbs facing to the left, it creates an open circle of energy that's balanced. And we can send gratitude to everyone who contributed towards producing this amazing meal for us. May this meal nourishes mind, body, and soul. Namaste. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's eat what before I fall have? asleep. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the video. I really need to go because it's starting to rain. So please like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more from me. Bye!